In this video I will show you how you can create a crude oscilloscope just by using an Arduino and a bunch of other components. Fixing broken electronics can be quite tricky, as we don't see electricity. Using a multimeter we can measure the voltage between two contacts and thus find out a little bit about the circuit, but as soon as the voltage changes over time, the multimeter becomes useless. But if we measure multiple times in a row, we can recreate the signal by just connecting the voltage points we measured. Now, of course, our measuring frequency needs to be higher than the signal frequency. Also, our recreation gets better as we measure more, so it's always desirable to have a high sample frequency. With the Arduino we are quite limited. We can only measure 120,000 times a second, so we can't measure signals over 60 kHz. For this build, we will need a small TFT display, a rotary encoder and the Arduino Nano. Of course, every other Arduino would also work, but I just chose the simplest and cheapest one. After connecting everything together and supplying the Arduino Nano with power, we see nothing. The TFT screen shows our 40 voltage samples connected with a line. But as the analog input of the Arduino isn't connected to anything, it just shows the floating voltage. So after adding input leads to the analog input pin and the ground pin, we can finally measure something. But what's this? The leads aren't even connected and we already get the signal. First I thought this was because I used a cheap USB power supply. But even after connecting the Arduino Nano to my USB power bank, I still get the same signal, even though being smaller. Turns out what I am measuring is actually mains voltage. My input wire, just like antenna, picks this signal up and displays it on the TFT screen. This works as the analog input of the Arduino has a very high resistance in the orders of mega ohms. Reducing this resistance by adding a 100 kilo ohm resistor between the analog pin and ground fixes this issue. My Arduino oscilloscope is pretty much done here. All I need now is a source of alternating voltage to test it out. Keep in mind, the Arduino is only rated to 5 volts, so we can't measure anything above it. Also, we can only measure positive signals, as the Arduino input is not rated for negative voltage. There are a few circuits that will allow us to clamp the voltage down, so we can also measure in the minus voltage range. But this is out of the scope of this video. What I've done here is connect the second Arduino Nano, to which I've uploaded the sweep example of the servo library. We can now take a closer look at the communication between Arduino Nano and Servo. What we see is a PVM signal, a signal with a certain frequency that varies in its pulse duration. A pulse width of 1 millisecond means 0 degrees on the servo and a pulse width of 2 milliseconds means 180 degrees for the servo. Anyways, this is it for this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and see you on the next one.